How frustrating is it uh, when you guys, in the first half especially, you held them to a lot of runs for two yards or less. It looked like you guys were handling your assignments, but on a couple of possessions, they were able to sort of pick their way down the field. How frustrating is that when you're playing well? It's a, uh, I mean, it's, well. it's really frustrating, especially when, you know, a lot of the reason that they were able to move the ball is because they were able to stay on the field, you know, for third downs. Um, they were able to convert. So, you know, we didn't, we didn't do, a, do a really good job of, you know, handling third down, our third down responsibility, you know, getting off the field when we needed to. Um, you know, there were a lot of, the first five positions we had, I think three of them were three and outs. Yeah. Um, and whenever, when they were able to convert on third down, you know, I think it was one drop, they had three. We were out there for like 18 plays or something like that. Um, those are the, the drives that they scored on. And it's frustrating because, you know, those long drives, they do a lot to you as a defense. You know, it, it's, it wears you down um, physically. So, you know, I mean, it, it, it's definitely frustrating. But they're also three for three on fourth down, too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if that's you definitely. don't get them on third, you got to get them on fourth. Yeah, that's definitely. It's kind of demoralizing, but, you know, you, you got to just go back out there and, you know, continue to grind, continue to keep each other uh, uplifted and, you know, see what you can do. Third downs have been kind of an issue all season mm -hmm. long. Uh, has there been a consistent theme in some of those problems? Um, just, you know, just doing your job, taking care of your assignments. Um, just really just blowing up as a defense, um, standing up and, and, you know, just getting off the field. How much of a factor was fatigue, do you think, late, especially? Late in the, in the game, game, I think it was a huge factor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had some guys go down. Uh, we were trying to rotate um, at some positions, but uh, I think it was a huge factor late in the game. I mean, people, fans and stuff have questioned the strength and conditioning, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, late game situations. I, I really don't know, know what it is. You know, we've had an issue this year. Um, it's definitely something I've never seen before with the amount of people that we've had get injured, the type of injuries that we had, and um, just the fatigue that we've experienced. You know, it's, I don't know what it's from, what, what's the reason for it, but it's definitely something that we need to figure out because I mean, we have a long season. And you guys have kind of done the same stuff, right? Mm -hmm. like yeah, I mean, it's been, it's, been, yeah, it's been the same. You know, we haven't changed anything. It's, so, I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I can't say that it is the strength and conditioning program. I can't, I, we don't really know what it is. Uh, were there some issues today with the turf and changing cleats and stuff like that in the first half? Uh, I'm, I don't know anybody that experienced that. Um, you know, I think everybody on defense played in the same cleats as they did the whole game. You know, how do you make sure that things don't get too demoralizing? That you don't hang your heads too much? Um, just as a leader, you know, just you know, kind of as as a leader, you know, I just do my job as, as of keeping everybody uplifted. You know, keeping everybody energized and, and motivated. Um, you know, be a high energy guy when we come in. You know, on Saturday, I mean Sundays and. You know, we come to me is you know make sure everybody's locked in and, and focus on you know being one and know every week. Do you address the injuries or you just pretend like they're not there and focus on the guys you do have? Uh, I mean, you it's kind of hard because you kind of have to do both. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I mean, just being real about it, you know, you talk about it. You know, when, when Dre went down, um, you know, it was something that was like, dang, you know, that's one of the vocal leaders on the team. You know, one of the you know one of our more more productive linebackers. You know, he went down and it's you know it's just really the next guy up. You know, and it's it's just a part of the game. Sounds like a level of maturity mm -hmm. is kind of required for right. that mindset. Right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.